Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a little disclaimer because this was meant to be a weekly vlog and it's turned into a weekend vlog because I fucked up. I accidentally deleted all of my footage from Monday through to Friday night, Saturday morning from my memory card. And this is what happens when I'm alone and I don't have Alex here to help me because I was like, why isn't my memory card like clearing? I've taken the stuff off the memory card, put it in the computer. Turns out I didn't transfer my footage correctly. And then when I finally got onto Alex and he told me what to do, I erased everything by accident. So that's fine. I committed to doing weekly vlogs, so I'm not gonna let that stop me. This is just a weekend vlog instead. So I'm just taking you through what I get up to on a weekend in prep home by myself, boyfriend's away. Um, so this vlog is starting off from mid-morning on a Saturday after I've been to the gym and had my breakfast. So I hope that you guys enjoy and we'll get back into a weekly vlog next week. The camera's back, yay! I finally got a chance to speak to Alex and he told me how to fix it. So we are back on. Um, so when I had a really good gym session, trained full body. So that is session five of five for the week. Um, and I came home, made my breakfast. I've just had a quick shower and got changed. And it's funny cause I was actually about to go and get my nails done. Like I was about to just leave and head across the road to get them done. And then my auntie posted in the group chat that we have with my auntie, my mum and my cousin Chloe saying, who needs their nails done? Let's go. And now all of us are going to get our nails done together, which is really nice. So gonna go and get nails done. I need to get my brother a birthday present. My brother turns 23 on Monday. So I'm gonna get him a little present and um, that's basically it. When I get home, I'll have my lunch and then I'm probably just going to continue watching the live stream for all of the bodybuilding shows that are on today. So we've got NBA on in Brisbane, which is where Alex is filming at the moment. Um, and then also IFBB Adelaide is on today. So I'll probably watch, catch up on that live stream tonight. Um, and also FMG in Sydney is on. So I want to try to catch Gemma who trains at the gym that I go to, try to watch her on stage when she's on live as well. Um, so it's a big day of bodybuilding, but I need to get this situation sorted because honestly that is disgusting and my eyebrows need saving as well. So let's go. A little OOTD. I'm very cash today, but wearing something that's not leggings for once. I feel like this looks really cute. These gray flares I got from Supre. I love Supre for their basics. So I got these from Supre and then this pink off the shoulder thing. I think it's from Factory or something. Had it for a while and then my quartz gray new balance. So that is the outfit check. To the salon. <laughs> A nice little French moment. Um, and also just got my brother a birthday present. I got him some Ugg boots, a dressing gown, some socks and shit because that's what he wanted. So whatever. Also got mum some pajamas for Mother's Day. And I got myself some pajamas as well because I love just crazy pajamas at home, especially coming into winter and being in prep. I'm going to be super cold. So got some PJs, which um, you'll see later because I literally can't wait to just tonight chill the fuck out in bed and watch Netflix. Um, but I haven't had lunch yet. It's 3.30. Thank God I had a protein bar on the way here. Um, and I just had a coffee at the shops. But yeah, I'm definitely ready for lunch. So home to eat my pasta. Just quickly stopped off to get my eyebrows done because I forgot to do that at Airport West. And they do such a good job. Like I just get them threaded, um, but always very happy with how they turn out. Okay, it's four o'clock. I need to go home and eat because at this rate, I'm gonna be eating dinner at like 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs> so hungry. Moments like this that like you just thank yourself for meal prepping. Like the fact that I've already got my pasta 
ready to go. You just can't beat that. Imagine I just got home, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, I haven't eaten lunch and I still have to cook it. Fuck that for a joke. Can't forget the cheese, can we Las Rias? So you guys will probably hear Alex and I refer to the dogs, Penny and Pablo, as the Los Rias. <laughs> and I thought that I would just give you guys an idea of why. So initially, so Pablo was the first dog. Alex had Pablo when we got together and I started calling him Pabloso as like a nickname. So instead of Pablo, I would say Pabloso. And then I would start calling him Los. So it went from Pablo to Pablo, so to Los, to Losadia, <laughs> right? And then I decided calling him Losadia. So instead of Pablo, I call him Losadia. And then we got Penny, and Penny's real name is actually Penelope. Isn't it? Isn't your name Penelope? Oh my God. Um, so her real name is Penelope, but we call her obviously Penny for short. And then her middle name is Lou. So we actually call her Penny Lou. Um, and then I started calling her Penny Oso as well. So like Losidia and Penny Oso. And then when, like, and now when I refer to both of them together, like as, like if I'm talking about both dogs, instead of saying Penny and Pablo, I say the Losidias. <laughs> They're both just Losidias. <laughs> So other people like hear us say it sometimes and they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, and yeah, quite literally, that's just the plural of Penny and Pub. So, yes, yes, I know you've missed me because I've been out for a few hours. I'm sorry. Lunch is served and I've got the IFBB on catching up on today's show. I'll tell you guys what I got from the shop. Um, because I think these pajamas are really cute. So I never usually go to Valley Girl. I haven't been there since I was probably in high school, but we went in there and I got the cutest, oh, the cutest pajamas. So like they're the pants. And then it's just like a matching, matching top. <laughs> But the material is so nice and look how cute. They're like little ducks. <laughs> so I can't wait to put those on later. Um, and then I also got just like a little bit of what I'll give mum for Mother's Day. Um, my mum loves pajamas and I feel like that's such a Mother's Day present. So why am I so like, there we go. Um, I got her, just these pajamas, which are like really soft with the matching. I have pajamas literally exactly like this, but they're blue and white with clouds and they are so comfy and so warm in winter. Um, and then I got my brother a dressing gown because that's what he wanted. Just a black dressing gown. Uh, and then from Kmart, I actually got this. So you guys probably have seen like all over TikTok and stuff that um, Kmart have like all these dupes now and like their quality and their fabric and stuff is really good. Um, so I got this singlet. So it's actually, so this is was from the active section. So it's like a little cropped singlet. It's got a built-in bra with padding. Um, and then a bolero and the bolero is completely attachable. So I can wear the bolero just separate if I want to um, or together. But I feel like this is really cute just to wear with leggings as like a casual look. I wouldn't train in this, but I feel like just as a casual thing, that's cute. And I also got inside out um, just another black long sleeve. I'm very basic with my clothes. Um, but yeah, this black long sleeve top, the fit is amazing. And I'm gonna quickly try it on. I'll quickly show you guys what it looks like. Um, but I couldn't get over the fit. Like, and it has finger holes at the end, which I love because when it's cold and you're going for walks and stuff, your hands obviously get cold. So, this, like, this is from Kmart, I actually can't deal. 
even with these pants it looks cute with like some black runners instead of the wire just to tie it in but yeah see I feel like that is such a sleigh I'm gonna wear this when I go for a walk in the morning but yeah so that's all I got um I know my brother some Ugg boots which he also wanted for his birthday in a cute little birthday bag and I thought these socks were funny he loves the joker so I got him these socks to wear with his uggies as well but that's it so happy with my little purchases it didn't cost me much um there was one more thing that I got and that is this beanie <laughs> I love beanies in the colder weather and I haven't been able to find mine so I thought this was cute this is the current setup got IPV playing got my amino acids and she's doing steps honestly this is like the craziest step setup I'm so so happy that I've got this at home now. 24 minutes in and I'm sweating. Uh, only got five minutes to go and I'm gonna jump in the shower. But honestly, <laughs> game changer being able to just do this at home because the time goes so quickly. So I've been watching the show on YouTube um, but I'm hot. I'm gonna have to open the door next time. It's gone over time because I'm getting to 200 cal currently on 198. So just another minute or two to go, and we're done for the night, for the day. I can sit the fuck down and chill. <laughs> How cute are these pajamas? And they are so comfy as well. Let me find a way to show you. Let's go down here, shall we? Look how cute! Oh, I love it. Thank you very much, Matthew. Oh, oh, I can make it bigger. Next up, we have competitor one, one, five. His name is Kelly. Addison, he is the great nice he's a corporate like operations manager straight out of Wild Gym in the Seven Hills. There we go. That will do. I'm going to play this while I sit down. And representing front of the stage is a massive star. His name is Mick Moses. Yum! Perfect Saturday night, did you ask me? Hello! Time for dessert! Yo pro yogurt, cocoa bombs and honey. I'm a little bit upset because I have no um, salted caramel yo pro left. I've only got vanilla. Salted caramel slaps like it's just nice and sweet. Vanilla's fine as well. Sunday it's 8 30 I've been awake for about an hour and a half um, I have just been doing some work on my laptop from the bed um, oh my god well like <laughs> I had like eight hours eight and a half hours sleep um, so 
I'm definitely not tired, but I'm just still very like crazy. Uh, today's agenda. So I think today I'm going to go down to Alex's studio and do some posing practice there just to change things up a little bit. Um, obviously there's big mirrors there, a heap of space, great lighting. So I'm going to go down there, chuck some music on and do some posing. And then from there, I think I'm going to go help. I just wanted to say head and go at the same time. <laughs> From there, I'm going to go down to the Maribyrnong River and do a lap of that. I haven't done a river walk in a while. And the weather app is saying it's going to be 22 degrees today. So I feel like that's really nice weather. Um, although I don't know when the sun's coming out. It's a bit cloudy out at the moment. And then the IFBB Perth show is on today. So... I'm going to watch some of that on YouTube. Um, otherwise, I just need to do my grocery shopping um, for the week. And then tonight, I've got my brother's birthday dinner at Okami. Um, I'll take my meal prep there with me, but it will be good to see the fam. And um, then Alex flies in from Adelaide tonight. He gets in, I think, around 10 or 10.30, which is a train. <sighs> but I will pick him up, of course. He's been gone since Thursday, so I'm excited to see... Alexis. So at the moment, my calories through the week, we're doing um, training day calories and rest day calories. So basically the difference is that on my non-weight training days, my carbs come down by 30 grams. Um, so it's really not that big of a difference. It just means that, yeah, the days that I'm not doing my weight training sessions, I need to make sure that I'm going into my fitness pal and adjusting my macro targets to reflect the rest day calories. Um, and literally the only change that that is, is I bring the quantity of my rice in my dinner, in my burrito bowl down. Um, and I remove the cocoa bombs that I've been adding to my oats in the morning. So everything else stays the same. So it really doesn't make much of a difference, but um, yeah, slightly different approach that we're taking this prep. I didn't have um, high and low days through my last prep. So we'll see how that goes this time around. This morning I have hit just below our target weight for the week. So we wanted to be ending this week at 63 kilos and I am 62.9 this morning. So we are on track with where we want to be, which is great. Dressed and ready to go for the day. Going to head to the studio first, do some posing. So I've just packed my posing bikini in my bag. Um, and then from there, I'll head off for a walk. Let's go, the sun is coming out. It looks like it's going to be such a beautiful day. I'm excited. freezing in here but I don't care I need to get this posing practice done and um, it's only going to get colder so I've just got to deal with it <laughs> Back to the car, I did the lap in 35 minutes, just over four kilometers. 
I'm absolutely sweating. I don't know why I wore this long sleeve top today of all days because it's so sunny. Whew. But I feel good having done that. So back to the car, home, and will probably be time to have some lunch by the time I get there. bars and I got a ghost to try as well. So I'm just having my protein bar which is one of my snacks for the day and um, I'm just going to have a bit of a play around in my fitness pal and kind of see what I want to eat for the week. I am still enjoying my meals but I just don't know if I want to change it up a little bit. Um, so we'll see. I'm just going to kind of look on my old meals that I was eating last year in prep and see if I feel like eating anything from there instead. And um, then I'll play around in my fitness powder to plan it all out. Because when I do my check-in each week, I give Michael screenshots of my fitness power for him to review. Just to make sure that he's happy with everything that I'm eating and stuff. Um, so yeah, just gonna have a bit of a play around with that now before I head across to the shops and do my grocery shopping. Um, and grab a couple of things. I think I'm just gonna keep my food the same for the week because honestly, I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered changing it up. Um, eating something that maybe I'm going to get sick of eating whereas the pasta and the um, burrito bowl I know that I don't get sick of and I kind of enjoy it um, so not kind of enjoy it I do enjoy it um, so I'm just gonna keep it the same and I'm going to just sort of work out now uh, what I need to top up on and then go and do some grocery shopping. So that beef mince goes off tomorrow. If I don't make a list, I literally just walk around in the, in Woolies like a losty. <laughs> uh, and I feel like when I have a list as well, I'm just in and out like so quickly, just whip around, get what I need to get, and then I'm done. I feel like I have my life together when I remember to bring my shopping bags. TikTok before I left home and it was this girl wearing a hat and she was like you know when you wear a hat in public it feels like everyone's looking at you and you just feel goofy and now that I saw that TikTok I felt like a fucking idiot walking in my hat in the shops as well <laughs> and there's just no way you're doing two trips <laughs> home I just literally topped up on the stuff that I needed for my pasta and the burrito bowls through the week, the usual um, cocoa bombs were on sale for only $2.70 a box. So I had to get two of those. Um, the only thing that I got that I haven't usually been getting is strawberry jam because I had an epiphany and I really want to have strawberry jam on my crumpets this week, a couple of days, because I love me some jam, but that's really it. Otherwise, it's all just the huge stuff that I have been having for the last two weeks. Shorter these sentences, I want you to curl them as well. Not the worst in the world, but they're definitely not a bro wave. Like, what even happened to this girl? Another day, another bodybuilding live stream. <laughs> Dinner's in an hour, so I'm just gonna watch this for a little bit and then chuck some clothes on. Oh, fuck, I need a 
Wait, Gina. Oh my god, I completely forgot. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot for a minute that I'm in prep and that I have to make my fucking dinner before I go out to dinner. Um, great, so I have an hour. I have to leave here in 40 to 45 minutes. And I'm not even hungry. I don't I don't feel like eating right now. Um, I should definitely eat before. This is, you guys are just witnessing my thought process. I should definitely eat before I go though because God knows I'll probably end up getting hungry while I'm there because everyone's going to be eating. So I'm just going to have to make myself eat now. I'm going to have to bring my live stream downstairs and get cooking, aren't I? I always do this. I have had all day just chilling and now I'm rushing around. It's 5.30, dinner's at 6. I'm still cooking my chicken and I need to eat this before I leave because I'm not going to take this meal to Okami. I feel like it's not the kind of restaurant that would allow me to just bring my own food and eat it. Um, so I need to eat it before I leave and I'm also not dressed yet. I'm just in the jumper. And I always do this to myself, and I show you right in my brother's card. Always have to sign off with all of us on the card. <laughs> 5.37, dinner's in 25 minutes. I've just sat down to eat my dinner. I need to hurry up. from dinner uh, I got home about half an hour ago it's 8 30 at the moment just made my dessert for the night and I'm just waiting on a message from Alex to let me know once he's landed so I can go and pick him up from the airport I'm just about to head out to pick up Alex from the airport as I'm just back from tour yeah back from tour and he fucking reeks <laughs> Stinky wine. <laughs> I'm just going to wrap this vlog up here. So really, really happy with how week two of prep's gone. Um, as I mentioned earlier, weights hit exactly where we wanted it to hit. Um, I'm in a really good routine as far as like my daily non-negotiables go with my steps, my training, my posing. Um, I'm honestly really happy with my posing practice this morning and how that went watching back on my videos even as the day has gone on like I'm just really happy with how I'm moving how I'm holding my poses the flow um, I'm not going too quick which is something that I've always done um, so yeah I've really noticed some massive improvements in my posing today which has me really excited so I'm really keen for Week three of prep, um, obviously I'll do my check-in tonight or tomorrow morning with Michael. I'll take some updated photos, another weigh-in, and find out if we're making any changes at all moving into next week from a calorie perspective. Um, and then we'll make um, any adjustments to that accordingly as far as my food and stuff goes for the week. So I'll do my meal prep tomorrow. Um, but yeah, really, really keen for week three of prep, 18 weeks out at the moment, which is so exciting. And I feel like the time is just going to fly by. Um, but yeah, really keen for another week. Going to be vlogging everything this week. I feel like I'm in a good groove with vlogging at the moment as well. So keen to take you guys through my whole week. Um, IFBB Nationals are running Melbourne next weekend, so I'm actually gonna go down to the show and watch in person, which I'm super keen for. Um, and yeah, just really ready for another week and um, keen to smash it out. So thank you for watching yet another vlog. I'm so happy to have you here. If there's any questions or anything at all that you guys have in regards to competing my journey or anything at all leave me a comment below send me a message on instagram or whatever so thank you for watching see you soon